It's a lighter week in the NCHC with only five teams in action, but we've still got a pair of top 10 showdowns on the docket. We'll preview another great weekend of college hockey in this edition of the NCHC Morning Skate. One week before conference play begins, we've got a terrific non-conference clash as number 10 St. Cloud State hosts second-ranked Boston College of Hockey East. The Huskies improved to 6-1 last week by sweeping visiting Augustana 4-3 and 2-1 in the first ever meeting between the two schools. Dick Ports scored two goals to lead SCSU on Friday. The next night, Northern Michigan transfer Josh Zinger had the game winner in the third to help the Huskies complete the sweep. Zinger finished the weekend with a goal each night and added an assist to earn NCHC Defenseman of the Week. SCSU has now won three straight games, with reigning NCHC Goaltender of the Month Isaac Posh backstopping the Huskies to each win. St. Cloud State is 4-1 all-time against the Eagles. Their most recent meeting was in the 2021 NCAA Northeast Regional, a 4-1 Huskies win. Also this weekend, number 6 and 7 North Dakota travels to Ithaca, New York as the season-opening opponent for Cornell of the ECAC. Interestingly, the Big Red are ranked 8th and 9th in the national polls and have even received first-place votes, even though they haven't played a game. UND is 3-2-0 this season and has already faced a host of top 20 opponents. Last weekend, the Fighting Hawks split with visiting then number 3 Boston University, opening with a 7-2 win before losing 4-3 the next night. Jackson Coons tallied two goals and Captain Louis Jammernick had a goal and two helpers in Friday's win. The last time UND faced Cornell, it was January of 2022 when the Big Red swept a close series at Engelstad Arena. Number one Denver is also gracing the Ivy League this weekend. The Pioneers face Yale in a two-game series that begins Friday in New Haven, Connecticut. The defending national champs rolled up two more wins last weekend, beating visiting Wisconsin 4-2 and 6-1 at home. Jack Devine recorded a goal and four assists in the series, including a goal and two helpers in Saturday's win. He leads the country with 14 points this season and is the NCHC October Player of the Month. DU, along with Colorado College, are the NCHC's only remaining unbeaten teams. Denver is 8-1 all-time against Yale in a series that dates to the 1951-52 season. Last year, the Pios swept the Bulldogs at home by a combined score of 14 to nothing. These will be Yale's first games of the season. Eighth and ninth ranked Colorado College renews its intercity rivalry with Air Force of Atlantic Hockey this weekend. The Tigers will host the Falcons on Friday before venturing Crosstown to play the Cadets on Saturday. CC took two wins from Alaska Anchorage in Alaska last weekend. On Friday, the Tigers got a goal and an assist from freshman Owen Beckner in a 2-1 win. The next night, Caden Nimberico posted an 18-save shutout as CC won 2-0. Embarico finished the weekend with 46 saves and was named the NCHC Goaltender of the Week. A season ago, CC and Air Force played just once, a game won by the Tigers 6-2. CC looks to remain undefeated on the season this weekend and secure the Pikes Peak Trophy for a sixth straight year. Yeah, we're excited for the opportunity. Um, you know, I, I don't put a ton of stock into, you know, winning, winning championships in October. Um, however, um, you know, it, it's an exciting opportunity. Uh, there's a trophy on the line. Uh, we want to keep it. And so, uh, you know, we, we love the program that, uh, that Frank runs over at Air Force and, and respect the job that they do. Um, and we love that we get to share a city with another great college program. But uh, when you get to go against each other and, and win a trophy that, that means something to the city and to both schools, um, it's an exciting time. Finally, Miami is again on home ice this weekend, this time hosting RPI out of the ECAC. The Red Hawks split two games with independent Lindenwood last weekend at Steve Cady Arena. The Lions won 4-2 to open the series, but MU responded with a 4-1 win on Saturday. Christophe Filion had a three-point weekend, including a goal and an assist in the win. Freshman goalie Ethan Dahlmeyer made 34 saves on Saturday to earn his first collegiate win and the NCHC Rookie of the Week nod. Miami is 8-2 all-time against RPI. The Red Hawks last played the Engineers in January of 2016, splitting a series in Oxford. Now for one final look at the schedule this weekend. It is the lightest weekend yet in the NCHC with five series. Colorado College, Miami, and St. Cloud State all host a game or series, so you'll be able to see all five of those games live on NCHC.TV, the official streaming platform of the conference. 
It's the final tune-up before the pursuit of the Penrose Cup begins. And now you're ready for puck drop. Thanks for watching the NCHC Morning Skate.